Hiya, so this is the second vid for the first lesson of the second trig part. We've been looking at sine and cos and tan. Um, I think it's quite nice that this, it makes all written out here. Um, but you've got this triangle, if you can spot this triangle, I'll just draw it here. It's got a radius of one, it's x across and y up. So you know from Pythagoras, that x squared plus y squared is 1. But also, so that's that line done. Also, you know from the previous video that x is cos theta. Oops. Squared. Y is sine theta squared is 1. Now, on the way I write <coughs> sine squared or cos squared, as I do it, as sine squared theta cos squared theta is 1. And what's quite nice is this works no matter what value of the angle you use. It always works, whereas some equations don't work. So I make it into an identity. I put a triple equals, which is what that bit there is for. So we've got something else. So we know that tan is opposite over adjacent, which is y over x from that. Um, let's move that down from the triangle, but y is sine, x is cos, so I get tan as being sine over cos. And these two are what you really, really need for later on in the course. Oops, that's got me in there, let's move it. So it says this is valid for all values of theta apart from, so tan, it can't be zero apart from when cos theta is zero. What it does, if that's a zero on the bottom there, it gives you an asymptote. Uh, so this is why we get asymptotes. And it's a divide by zero. And that's when it's like 90 degrees or 270 degrees, or kind of like plus or minus various amounts of 180. Right then, so we've got, oh, we've got a question. It's quite nice. It's been a lot of waffles so far, actually, with not much question going on. So it tells you that P is 3 cos theta, and it tells you that Q is 2 sine theta. Show that. Right, so the only equation I've got which links sine and cos is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. Now, if P is 3 cos theta, then P over 3 is cos theta. And if q is 2 sine theta, then q over 2 is sine theta. I'm doing this because it's the only thing that I know. I only know that, that sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So I replace the sine with q over 2, so that's q over 2 all squared. Re uh, replace the cos with p over 3, so then it's p over 3 all squared. And that's equal to 1. So I've got q squared over 4, p squared over 9 is 1. If I multiply through by 36, which is a common denominator of the bottom, then I get 9q squared, as I times the whole that first term by 36, then I get 4p squared is 36, which is what it wanted, so that's fine. But I only knew sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So on that example, it's the only thing I could possibly use. All right, what's this one then? So it says finding the exact value. So I wonder if this is the start of another lesson. But you know what, there's not that much in it, so it's really nice. So it tells you that cos is 4 over 7. So that's your adjacent over your hypotenuse. Anything that says exact values with a fraction, I want to draw a triangle. So I draw a triangle. So I've got A. So cos is adjacent, so that's 4 over hypotenuse, which is 7. Using Pythagoras, it's a short side, so it's 7 squared minus 4 squared. So 49 minus 16 is 33. So square root is, so I've got root 33, that doesn't serve down. 
So exact values of sine. So sine A is the opposite, which is root 33, over the hypotenuse, which is 7. And tan A is the opposite, which is root 33, over the adjacent, which is 4. Now, this is the way I use, this is by far, to me, the easiest way. Maybe it was just for the fact that I, that's what I was taught. If I'm going to use um, for identities, I've got to use sine squared A plus cos squared A is 1. So sine squared A plus 4 over 7 all squared is 1. So sine squared A plus 16 over 49 is 1. So sine squared A is, but take away 16 over 49. So I've got 49 over 49. Take away 16 over 49. That gives me 33 over 49. And then square root it gives me root 33 over 7. So that's that one done. And I know that tan is sine over cos. Uh, so tan... So sine was root 33 over 7. The cos is 4 over 7. The 7's will cancel. Root 33 over 4. So the different way, that to me, by far the easiest. And nice as well to draw a picture. Now what I've done though here, is I've assumed that this is acute. Because with acute, all of them are positive from the picture on the first page. Right, there's a question for you there, and this one's obtuse. So for obtuse, only sine is positive. So you work out the cos, you work out the tan, and then just put a minus. So what I might do is I might just run through that one. I might not cover that and just do it. I've got a bit of time there. So hopefully you've done it. But A, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's a three, four, five triangle, isn't it? Pythagorean triple. So I know that cos A will be the adjacent four over five. I know that tan A will be the opposite over the adjacent. So I've got that. Now here's my issue. Because it's obtuse, I need to put a minus there and a minus there. And it comes from the graphs on the previous page, wherever that page is, where it shows you between 90 and 180 that only sign is positive. Yeah. Right, I'm going to stop there and I'll do some of the others in a second.